storm it, win it. So that's what you watching. Remember what I said, this is Pee Wee from the Big Town. You're watching Storm It, Win It. Storm It, Win It. You're watching Storm It, Win It. Storm It, Win It. Storm It, Win It. You're watching 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 Storm It, Win It. here with Paige Gore here at the National Championship in uh, Dublin, Ohio. How are you doing today, Paige? Doing well. How are you doing? I'm uh, pretty good. I'm still practicing a little bit. The wind is kicking a little bit. I'm getting some weird shots yeah, here and there. <laughs> but other than that, it's doing well. For me, coming as a amateur trying to get together to become a pro at this late of the game, what do you think would be the biggest challenge or the biggest tip you can give someone like me? Honestly, in my opinion, a lot of it comes down to the mental game more than it actually comes down to your ability to shoot, if that makes sense. Um, at this level, everybody shoots well, and I know that obviously if you're wanting to do this that you're going to put the time in, you're going to practice, and you're going to work hard. I think the biggest piece that people miss is that they spend so much time behind the bow that they forget to work on the mental part, and in my opinion, that's about 90% of what we do. And so I would advise you to... Um, start reading the book with Winning a Mind by Lanny Basham yes. and it's just a good place to begin and then create like a mental management system for yourself that you can learn and run and then grow on that as you grow in the sport um, but I think that's what helped me so much because I didn't spend a lot of time behind the bow but I did do that and so I kind of leaned on that when I needed it. Okay, mental management is definitely yeah. a big issue. Like you said, it's 90%. Everybody that I talked to mm -hmm. said somewhere around that range. Mm -hmm. uh, because even if you shoot good and you're having a bad mood, a bad, yeah. bad day, you're not going to shoot that good it's and vice versa. It's very easy to make a bad shot and then get down on yourself and then you make more bad shots. Or get nervous in situations that you're perfectly capable of making the shot but the nerves are hindering that. And so it's learning to control your heart rate and your, your conscious mind and just let your subconscious mind do what it needs to do to you know, shoot at the highest level. Okay. Now, for some, again, someone, for, for me, working, I've been shooting not for that long, I've been shooting for two and a half years only. Um, what would be the thing I need to concentrate most other than the mental game is sort of my technique. I've been working with coaches, mm -hmm. but what, what, from your perspective, what is the most important part? Honestly, I'm not a big technique. Um, person. I never have worked with a coach. I never did. So that's not something that I think you have to do. Um, really, in my opinion, all that matters is that you can do it the same. You can do it consistent. Consistency. So if you walk down the line and look at every pro compound male, for example, they all have weird little quirks. Their hips are turned, someone's shoulders up, they lean. There's different things that they all do, yet it works for them. So I really believe that with compound, you don't have to do that. You know, one form fits all or you know, anything like that. I think as long as you can get something down that's comfortable and that you can repeat, you'll be fine. Now you implement that form with your mental management system and those two things together will really bring you to the next level. Okay. What do you think the difference uh, for me? I'm, I'm coming from New York. Okay. Okay. New York is not too hardcore archery like mm -hmm. other states. Yeah. Uh, uh, if I want to go and shoot, I just go afternoon to the archery there are plenty of archery places the ranges but uh, they, they open they, they open 6 30 in the evening okay so while it's okay what do you think the difference comes between doing that living in a different state is there a difference or the beauty of archery is i think there's not like i don't have anyone to practice with back home um even though there are a lot of archers from california it's such a large state we're very spread out and so the beauty of archery is that you can practice anywhere anytime you could literally put a block target in your house and blank bail do aiming drills do things like that and all of those are going to help again everything as a whole get better and improve um, if you can't make it to the range like i have a target in the house so i can just shoot arrows to keep my strength up and so that's a big one as well but what i love about archery is that it's an individual sport so you don't need a team you don't need other people to be there it's all about you your motivation and how hard you want to work at that and so i think really no matter where you live you know, if you're willing to put the work in, you'll, you'll figure it out. Okay. You'll really do well. Before we finish, you, uh, how would you feel if I'll change you for one and 
<laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I can go for that. Okay, awesome. Let's go for that. Let's see what I can do against a pro for the first time. Oh uh, literally, I don't think I have a chance, but uh, let's see if I, I can do anything. It's windy. It's windy. It, is, it is windy for me as well. Uh, let's try that. Uh, thank you.